Hey, girl. Hey. Welcome to my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you around our trailer. <laughs> Start with the hitch, of course. Kind of important. <laughs> Just a standard collar lock coupler. We didn't option anything out here. And we got a toolbox. The toolbox is where we keep the battery or the battery box. Pretty simple in here. Cut off switch, marine deep cycle. Options for more batteries if you want them. This is where the solar will go when it gets installed. Yeah, it's pretty handy. <laughs> yeah, last time when we rented it for our honeymoon, we actually had a little water tank or like a water jug that we used for a spigot, but you'll see what we, we changed so we don't have to use that again because that was kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then what are these black knobs on the front? What are those for? Those are for the climate control unit, which we didn't option out, but you can. Go ahead and shoot up in there. So a little high speed vent there, and your climate control hose is hooked right up in there. You got an intake and an output. Okay, here we are on the other side. Yes, other side obviously has two windows. And that's all I know about this thing because <laughs> Joe obviously did all the research. But um, yeah, we wanted another window just so we could have more light and uh, more scenery. When we yeah, park. originally there was an option for a stargazer window on the front panel here, but apparently it went out of stock. So. That part kind of sucked, unfortunately. We're probably gonna have to add that on our own later on down the road. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And then up top there, we got the roof racks. Yep. Yep. Mm. And you can stick a rooftop tent up there too if you want, so you actually have the capability to have people camping in the bottom here. Yep. Like these two happy campers. <laughs> or you can put people in the rooftop tent too there. So, maybe that will come eventually too. All right, let's take a look inside. Oh, hello! <laughs> what you guys doing? They also have little clamps to hold your door open, um, which is really nice. So if like the winds are high or something, it's kind of nice to have that so you don't have to worry about the door flapping everywhere. Um, they also have little shades that you can get, which are really nice. We weren't sure if we were going to invest in those um, or just make our own, um, but it was well worth it in my opinion, so I don't have to use the sewing machine. Especially <laughs> so. in the desert, you're definitely going to want blackout shades on all these out yeah. here. And uh, for privacy too on the ones we rented, once you put these down, it is nice and dark in there and private. No one mm -hmm. can see in, so it's great for that. Yeah, which is really nice. So... But it's easy. You just roll it on up, and then it just has a little vac um, Velcro little strap thing. Perfect. All right, kids, you take over the tour. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the inside. So those are those vents that he was talking about. There's two, so some circulating air. And then, oh, hello. We have a fan up here, which is really nice. Um, Joe let me know that actually it's really cool because it remembers what cycle or like speed that you had it on So you don't have to keep going through the different um, Speeds very easy. You just unscrew it here to loosen up the vent yep. And then turn the fan on and off and when you're done 
screw back down the vent and there's a lock over there for traveling mm -hmm. and Bella's going into her cuddle nest it's not ready yet the, <laughs> the mattress is not folded down <laughs> it's not ready yet she's ready for a nap so when you come in here the mattress here is trifold and it'll actually unfold to cover the entire space in here so right now we leave it in like cargo mode and you can fill this whole thing up when you're traveling with whatever you want yeah. bins chairs Chair. Corner. So up here we got cabinets on both sides. Yep, and it has like a little nice opening. You can actually lock these if you want. And it just pops on open. And you got a top shelf and a bottom shelf. And you'll see it on the back side when we get there, but there's a door on the other side yeah, so you can get through. snacks in the middle of the night. That's right. <laughs> or other naughty things. No. Yeah. Naughty things, I don't even know. You said margaritas. Oh yeah, margaritas, adult go. stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's the adult cubby pass through. Yeah, so you got a little bartender back there. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's me. So <laughs> both sides have that pass through, so that's nice. You have some accessible from both the galley and the cabin here. And then when you're running on your DC power, yeah, it's gonna look pixelated, but there's your voltage and under here. You got some USB. So we can charge our phones, devices, 12 volt DC. all that yeah. good stuff, cameras. And, and then when you're hooked to shore power, this over here is connected to a power strip in the back we'll show you. So if you're at the campground or you have a generator, you can have 120 volt AC in here or USB too for anything you need. And between these, this is more than plenty for us. Yeah, it charged everything for us when we were on our trip for a week, so we had no problems. But the good thing is you can option out more, and uh, if you need them, you can probably put them wherever you want over the trailer. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a cabin light, real simple. Yeah. Probably end up trying to wire up a warm white light there, so it has the- What about the... a chandelier? No, just kidding. <laughs> That sounds good to hit our heads in, in here. I know, probably dangerous. Probably put a warm white in there so it gets that rustic feel. Yeah. And oh, then, and I forgot. We forgot our little cool little things here. This is my favorite oh, thing. Oh, that's where the margarita goes once it gets past there. No, it's my bedtime water stand. Yes, margaritas for sure. <laughs> but uh, I thought this was so cool because obviously I love having water next to my bed stand while I'm sleeping. So very convenient. And it just closes up. Cool. And then next to you, we got the cargo baskets. Yep. These little guys are really nice. So you can actually put stuff behind it. But honestly, if you want something super secure when you're that on was, the road. That was good for our phones when you're going to bed at night. So you know where they are and uh, other essential things like that you flashlight. might need yeah. while camping out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yep. Very nice and accessible when you're sleeping. Just yeah. reach over and get it from the pocket. And then above you, you got a grab handle. Yep. Right oh, above yeah, right your here. head. Next to that is the roof rack mount, mm -hmm. and then next to that is a condensation, uh, I want to call it a filter, but that's not the term. It's like a control, I have no idea, uh, and, uh, I don't have terms. Yeah, there you go, a vent. It's just a pass-through vent for condensation, they're on both sides, and you see out here it comes out. Mm -hmm. Just so you don't get uh, too steamy in here, <laughs> after having your margarita and Joseph, cuddling, with no. the, <laughs> cuddling with the dogs. <laughs> What, what were you talking about? <laughs> I guess she has other plans for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go around, check out the back, what do you say? You guys are staying here. She's ready to take a nap. All right, here we are back outside. Isn't this for water? I have no idea. That's what it is. I hope you ain't spitting in there. No, no, no. That's unhygienic. Yeah, so back here we have a water fill. And there's a little 10-gallon tank in there. Which is so nice. So, so nice. Usually we would carry all the water in jugs, but that can be a hassle sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one is for power to hook up, right? When you're at a campsite, if you have a... This is where our shore power comes out. Okay. Yep. We can pull out of the side for our shore power there. So these guys, to level it out if you're on an even ground, which is nice. There's Unfortunately, they're not jacks, so you have to actually manually put them down. And then I found the best way to just jack the tongue up 
with the jack in front and these will raise off the ground and kind of level stuff out. And then come around the back. Look at this cute booty. <laughs> ah, my favorite part. <laughs> the galley where I do all my work I just hold my spatchy spatch <laughs> I'm a really good and a margarita yeah. <laughs> adjust the tunes if you will yeah so we have a sink we didn't have that on our honeymoon so this is luxury yeah we're just washing from a five gallon this is definitely gonna be like glamping for us now. oh yeah, yeah. luxury you have your cabinet and there's the pass through there. The margarita oh, pass? No, I'm just probably going to peek through here when she realizes we're back here. <laughs> yeah. You got your two cabinets up here, just like inside two cabinets in the cubby. And then the same setup we showed inside. You have your DC power from your battery in front. You got the same thing, socket and USB. And then when you go on your shore power, you can use this. Got a light up there. Another, yeah, DC light up here for the galley. We'll probably supplement that with LED strips so we can get it in party night mode back here with some nice <laughs> blues. All right, and what's down below? Over here is the cooler slide. And it just comes as obviously the bare slide here, and I did some modifications. strap to keep it down for when we get in the crazy roads. Nice little cooler, you're thirsty? <laughs> Surprise! So this is about all we need out there, our cooler, our stove, and mm -hmm. some water. I don't and know obvious. what else we could need. Right? Yeah. And under the sink here is going to be your little utility closet, I would call it. Here's where all your uh, wiring and the water tank and pump, all the guts and mechanics of the trailer here tucked in here makes it real easy to wire them. So this is going to be for your shore power. And then you have your two AC outlets that we showed you, one inside, one outside for when you're on shore power. Your battery charger maintainer. Back there is the water pump. Mm-hmm. And then your 10 gallon tank for the sink. And then down here, you'll see, there's your drain. And it goes underneath to a little cap off. And that's all it's gonna be. So if you want, you can collect your water or you can run a hose, drain it out away from camp, whatever you wanna do. For what we do, just a simple hand washing with biodegradable soap, with most of the time, we'll just let it drain right on the ground. Mm -hmm. So turn the sink on, turn the water on. What? The simple things, right? <laughs> Makes it so much easier. Alright, let's close it up. So, underneath here comes standard with the Dexter stub axles so no axle in the middle you'll see just got the stub axles on the side and I actually like this it makes it easy to change out if you have issues with the stub axle itself well that's going to wrap up the tour today if you guys have any questions about the trailer or the build let us know in the comments below see you next time Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>